The day war broke out, my missus looked at me and she said, What good are you? I said, how do you mean, what good am I? Well, she said, you're too old for the army. You couldn't get into the Navy and they wouldn't have you in the Air Force. So what good are you? I said, I'll do something. She said, what? I said, how do I know? I'll have to think. She said, I don't see how that's going to help you. You've never done it before, so... What good I? I said, don't keep saying what good am I? I said, there'll, there'll be munitions. She said, now, how can you go on munitions? I said, I never said anything about going on. I said, there'll be some. Well, she said, all the young fellows will be getting called up. And she said, you'll have to go back to work. Oh, she's got a cruel tongue. Anyhow, I haven't had to go back to work. I'm a lamplighter. Now, then, then she said, now she said, our Harry, now she said, our Harry's sure to be getting called up. And she said, when he's gone, there'll only be his army allowance. And she said, what are you going to do then? I said, I'll have to try and manage on it. She said, you'll have to try and manage it. She said, what about me? I said, there'll be my insurance. She said, I can't get that till you are dead. I said, well, then you'll have to wait. She said, suppose I die first. I said, well, then you won't want it. But you can't reach his no brains. At the... Anyhow, I got fed up and I put my hat on and I went down to the local. Oh, the times that woman has driven me into the local. Now, when I when I got in there, there was a fellow there. Oh, he was as tight as I've never seen. And there was another fellow with him just as tight. And one of them was sitting at a table trying to fill in a form. And he said to his pal, he said, Herbert, he said, what's the name of this street outside the pub here? He said, I've got to fill it in this for What's the name? The other fellow, just as tight, says, the name, the name of what? He said, the name of this street, here, outside the pub, here, what's the name of it? He said, oh, how the hell do I know? I've never been outside the pub. Now, but the, the first day I got me home guard uniform, I'm getting the trousers next year, but the first day I got, I went home and I slipped upstairs and I put it on. And I came down into the kitchen and the missus looked at me and she said, What are you supposed to be? I said, supposed to be? I said, I'm one of the home guards. She said, one of the home... She said, what are the others like? And then the missus said, she said, well... What do you do in the home guards? I said, I've got to stop Hitler's army landing. She said, what, you? I said, no, there's Harry Bates and Charlie Evans. And... I said, there's seven or eight of us all together. I said, we're in a group. I said, we're on guard in a little hut behind the dog and pull it. She said, well, what's the good of being on guard in a little hut behind the dog and pull? She said, I suppose that was your idea. I said, aye, and that Charlie Evans wants to claim it as his. And then she looked at me and she said, well, what are you doing with one stripe? She said, you've only just got the uniform. How can you have one stripe? I said, wait a minute and I'll explain the whole position. I said, as a matter of fact... Charlie Evans, Harry Bates, and myself have got one each. She said, well, how did you come by them? And how did they? They've only just joined. I said, wait a minute, and I'll explain it. I said, Tom Briley, the sergeant, got all browned off, fed to the teeth, chucked it, and he gave us one each. Oh, I oh, we've all joined for the duration. That's unless it finishes before then. We don't know, you see. 
But my missus, she gets on my neck. She asks such daft questions. She said, here, she said, only this morning, she said, what are you supposed to be guarding? I said, oh, don't start all that again. I said, we're guarding the British Isles. I said, we're guarding all the millions of men, women, and children. Millions of them. And you. She said, oh, then you're on our side. I said, well, of course I'm on our... Well, she said, I think we'd be a darn sight better off if you were on the other side. She said, do you, do you know this, Hitler? Have you ever... Do I know? I said, now, don't talk rubbish, Rita. Do I know Hitler? I would, I'm not even in the paint business or anything. I would... Well, she said, how are you going to know which is him if they do land? I said, I've got a tongue in my head, haven't I? But it's no good trying to reason, which he doesn't seem to concentrate. Only the other more. Oh, good gracious me, look at the time. No, I, I should have been on guard two hours ago. They'll be, they'll be looking for me everywhere. No, I've, I've left the whole of the coast exposed. You'll, you'll have to forgive me. I really have to go. Oh, well.